All right, so we're inside game show right now. I've got the game loaded to the right. I'm playing on a Samsung S8, running through my capture card. I've got a microphone in front of me and obviously a webcam to capture my beautiful self. <laughs> I've got some graphics, etc. I'm gonna show you how to set this up in a second, but let's just do a little sample recording just so you can see the quality. And I can show you a game I play sometimes called Smashing 4. I like to say that the developers of this game are greedy as fuck. They make it so hard to upgrade your cards. It's ridiculous. The matching algorithms are absolutely horrible too. I mean, look at this. This guy has all level 14 characters and that is going to hurt us dramatically. It's almost impossible to beat him, I think. So let's see. He is going to do what next? I think we need to get this. Yeah. So we'll see. I think he's going to kill the, my enchantress right now. But we need to use our shaman. That would be our only saving grace, is if the shaman doesn't... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we have a chance to win here. But, but let's see, right? How are we going to do this? Level 14. He does 381 damage. So I think what we have to do is that... That may have made it so he can't kill us, but who knows? Okay, that's good because now what we can do, hopefully, is. Um, uh, well, I think he's going to beat us, but we'll see. We'll see. I couldn't. I should have. Killed one of his characters with my shame, or, or enchanted one of them with the shame, but it didn't happen. So now we're in a pretty bad spot, I think. Let's see, this one has 527. Maybe we could kill this, but the problem is it sets him off to hurt us. Oh, did we kill both of them? If we did, maybe we have a shot actually. Because now he only has his Barbarian, who is dealing a lot of damage. 240, and it only increases. That's the messed up part. So, so let's see. It has 583. Maybe this is not going to kill him, but maybe it will block him from hitting my Seder, which means good game, because the Seder does way more damage and has a lot more health. work yeah it looks like we won i cannot believe we beat him and usually it doesn't work out like that it may have just been the card order or i don't know which is supposed to be random but it screws you more times than not we gained 54 trophies from beating him because he must have been ranked dramatically higher than us and we got 15 gold which is ridiculous these guys are so cheap anyways let me show you how i set this up in game show so if you want to stream your games for youtube or twitch Guys, we're inside game show. Let me show you how I have this how I have this set up. I am capturing from my cell phone. It's a Samsung S8 uh, Plus. It is coming out via a USB-C type connection to HDMI and then coming into a Blackmagic Intensity Extreme capture device, right? This is a Thunderbolt 2 capture device. I'm using an iMac Pro, which does not have Thunderbolt 2. It has Thunderbolt 3, which is the same style connector as USB-C. You have to buy the Apple adapter to go from Thunderbolt uh, 3 to Thunderbolt 2 to use this device. The next important thing that you should note, if you're using a Samsung S8, is make sure that you have the Intensity Extreme selected. If I didn't see any video there, I'd click on this three, button, uh, three dots right here, come to Video Format, and make sure that it's set to 1080p, 30 frames a second. That's what is important for my cell phone. If you're using a different tablet or a different cell phone, it may not work that way, right? So make sure you have the right... Uh, resolution and frame rate selected and your video should show up oof I have this really big uh, <laughs> uh, tiger mosquito in my place that I've been trying to kill and he just shows up randomly and then disappears and then I don't know where he is to go get him I even have this um, I have this zapper right turn this on and it zaps him and I want to kill this motherfucker <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the tutorial, right? So that's something to, important to note. There are also some tablets that no longer um, support the ability. Like, for example, I have a Samsung S3 uh, tablet. It doesn't have MHL, which is the ability to transmit video over the, the USB-C cable going out. Um, I'm still looking for a solution for that. There may be one. Because another thing to point out here is you see the aspect ratio for the Samsung S8 is quite tall and not very wide and that's just the uh, aspect ratio of this phone so i was thinking if i use a tablet it would have a better aspect ratio to stream games etc anyway let's move on right let me show you how this works you got three layers right now within game show in the second layer i have built up a shot this shot right here right if we go to clear layer is the mic and again, we go to the layers, uh, shot layers. It's the mic, it's the FaceTime video camera that you see here and the intensity extreme. In the FaceTime video camera, if I click on the settings right here, I do have it cropped both on the left and right just a little bit, right? So you didn't need to see the junk over there. In the particular mic, right? If I have this set to go live, this left hand window right here is the preview, the right hand is the live. If I'm assessing my phone's dying. Awesome. In the right-hand window, if it is not set to live, and you do that by clicking this right here, this sends whatever is on the preview window to the live screen. That doesn't mean you're streaming. But whatever's in this live window, then if you click on record, it will record to your hard drive. And if you click on stream, it will send it to YouTube or it will send it to Twitch. And we hear all the sirens us. Right? They're after you. Run. Anyway, back to the tutorial. So in the layer above here, I have two things. I have the text of 40 TV. I also have the Smashing 4 logo. Now these things, you can adjust the sizes. For example, if we come over here, we can change the scale of this, etc. right? I'm gonna press Command Z on my keyboard. I set it to what I thought was right. If we come back over here, you'll notice that 40 TV is actually just a text layer, right? I can add another one by clicking on the plus sign here, going to text, putting whatever text I want, etc. Another important thing to point out, if I click on the plus sign right here and I add a clock, I'm just going to take the default settings and I drag this over here. Notice it's sitting on top of the Smashing 4 logo. If I wanted it to be behind, I'd have to select this and drop it down in the layer order. Now it is, excuse me, it is behind, right? And now it's impossible to select the, that text. But anyway, so that's something important to note. Another thing that you might run into is okay to get rid of it we highlight it click on the minus sign boom it's gone if we come over here to the plus sign and we add the same clock with the defaults you'll notice that the smashing four logo and the 40 tv text went away that's because you can switch between shots within a shot you can have multiple layers and you can also have multiple shots here that you can switch from. It doesn't just have to be text. It doesn't have to just be video. You could even have a media file, like a movie or a commercial. So if you had a sponsor for your video, you could transition here from one shot to the next and play that advertisement, right? I'll go ahead, right click here, go to delete shot as we do not need it. In the bottom layer, I have that graphic, right? Notice it's pulled slightly off screen. If we come over here, you can tell it's stretched to fit, which is both up, uh, which is uh up and down, I think, and scale to fit is uh, left to right. So notice that I also offset it a little bit, something like this, and that's fine because the cell phone or the imported video is on top of the black spot right here, right? Make sure that whatever changes you make here, right? If I do this and I wanted that to be what's recorded or streamed, you have to click on this button to say, go live. And then it's on the right hand. Whatever's on the right hand is going live. Now, if I have on the left hand, you see myself talking. Everything looks good on the left hand side. This is not what will be recorded or streamed because it's not in the live window over here. You must click on this button to send it to live. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I think that this is a really cool setup. You can achieve a lot of things. In fact, there's other widgets that you can add. If we come over here, you can add social media widgets, right? So if I come here to social media, I can come here and type 40 TV under Facebook, 40 TV under Instagram, and we don't use Twitter. So booyah, if we click on add, then boom, now we have that social media widget. We can even drop it down in size. We can reposition it wherever we want, etc. Maybe add a drop shadow by coming over here, selecting drop shadow. Maybe if we want the offset to be a little bit less, pull that down. If we want the blur size to be maybe only a little bit, 
etc. Really, you can customize the hell out of these things. In fact, if we come over here and we double click on this, I think there are other options for the social media widget, actually probably before we added it. So again, you can customize this to your heart's content. I think streaming games now is even a possible lucrative career. Some of these guys are making six figures. Go ahead and set up your system and start making your money today. I hope you like this tutorial. And until next time, guys, I'm out.